The Philippines on October 23 repeated its call for China to stop provocative actions, warning that its attempts to block Manila's resupply missions to a disputed atoll in the South China Sea could have disastrous results, Jonathan Malaya, spokesperson at the National Security Council, said in a news conference that China's move to interfere with a resupply mission on October 22 resulted in damage to one of Manila's boats, but that no one was harmed, the ship was resupplying the BRP Sierra. Madre, a former warship grounded on the second Thomas Shoal and used as a base for Philippine Marines. The shoal is in the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. China's Coast Guard said there had been a slight collision between one of its ships and the Philippine boat while the Coast Guard was lawfully blocking the boat from transporting illegal construction materials to the warship. As we have repeatedly said in the past, continued Chinese blocking and interference by Chinese vessels with our regular and routine rotation and resupply missions, Rore, to BRP Sierra Madre may lead to disastrous results. While no lives were lost in the collisions yesterday, China's provocative and irresponsible actions have clearly impeded once again the safety of the Filipino crew. Philippines during the water dam incident, and we know the status of the uh, direct line as of now. Was it? We are relieved and thankful that no Filipino personnel were harmed, but we are concerned by the escalation and provocations by Chinese vessels who have no business being in the West Philippine Sea. The matter about filing another case is something that's still being studied by the government. But of course, all incidents like this will actually bolster the case that it's not the Philippines that's the aggressor, but the other party, which is China, that's actually undertaking dangerous maneuvers and blockades and putting at risk not only vessels, but more importantly, the people who are manning the vessels. 